While there's a lot of videos out there talking about how to speed ramp footage in DaVinci Resolve, I've actually made one linked up here if you want to watch that. A lot of people haven't really made speed ramping videos over audio with DaVinci Resolve. So let me show you different ways that you can speed ramp audio in DaVinci. I've got two pieces of stock audio here for one. I have just this voice of someone saying something. In a related story. And then I also have some stock music. So the first way to do this is just right click on the audio and come up to change clip speed. And then from here, you can choose whatever you want, like let's say 50%. And then you also have pitch correction, which just kind of tries to keep the same tone of how that audio actually sounds at 100%. So we'll go ahead and do that. You'll see that it actually kept the same duration. So we just have to drag that out. And that's one little annoying thing about this way of doing it. But we'll go ahead and play that. In a related story. Sometimes I don't really like how the pitch correction sounds, so I do like to turn that off. But just like slowing down, you can also speed up. Same thing, change clip speed, just do like 400. You can also do frames per second if you know what you want that in. So change, and that should shorten the clip. So that's a quick way of getting the chipmunk sound. Now let me show you how you can actually go about keyframing these speed adjustments. What you wanna do is come down here to Fairlight. So just click on the little music icon and just zoom right in. And then we'll just open that up and let's find a spot we wanna adjust. Story, story. Maybe we want him to say story a lot faster. All you gotta do is just select the audio, right click on it, and then come down to Elastic Wave. And then we're gonna use Voice. More, I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option and use my middle mouse to scroll in. And we'll use Control or Command, and you'll see this plus icon pop up. So I'll just hover my mouse over where I want it to start. And then I'll do the same where I want it to end. Now let go of Command or Control, and you'll see when you hover over this little dual arrow icon. And you'll just click and drag. And there it is, it just shrunk that down. Related story. And we sped up the audio. That's a feature I really like to use whenever someone's talking and it doesn't really sound like they're ending the sentence where you have it cut. So you can use this feature to kind of drag out that word a little bit longer or maybe speed it up at the end a little bit quicker just so it sounds like it flows a lot better. Now let's do the same thing with our music, but we'll do the opposite. So we're gonna select it, right click on it and come to Elastic Wave. And this time we'll go to General Purpose. Same thing as before, command or control. Let's just slow down like the intro. Click here and click here. And we'll just extend that out. Maybe extend it some this way and now we can play that. Versus how it was sounding. This will give you way more finer control whenever you're trying to mix some songs. I will say, if you are going to try to extend a clip that is longer than it already is, it doesn't really let you do that. So there is one workaround I'll show you. That is just come back over to the edit tab. And let's just say that we want to make this the end of the song really, really long. What we're gonna do is right click on our clip, if you have multiple audio clips, select all those. And we're going to come up to a new compound clip, select that. I'll just title it song ending, create. And now we need to hop into that compound clip we made. So right click on it, go to open in timeline. Now we're in a separate timeline. And what we're gonna do is duplicate this song. So I'm just going to select the song or any other audio we have hold down alter option, click, drag down. So we duplicated it. Now we're going to mute it. So I'm just going to drag the audio all the way to zero and just move it all the way down here. Now we can go back to our timeline. There's two ways to do that. One way I like is just coming over to our tab. If you don't see tabs, just click here and make sure this tab icon is selected. The other way is just right down here. You can see our previous timeline that we came from. So you can just click that and go back into it that way. Now we have our song and we can click and drag it all the way out for that longer duration. We can come back into Fairlight, open up our song, do our elastic wave, 
put our keyframes, and now we can drag it way longer, way, way longer than necessary. I apologize for your eardrums. Another little trick you can do inside the Elastic Wave tool is to add a couple extra points. So for instance, we can just add another one here and another one here, and maybe just another one here. So now we can adjust this here and adjust this here, and it's not going to adjust from this side onwards or this side from the beginning. Now, if you ran into the situation where you actually need to move one of these keyframes that you set up, you can easily do that, and it acts similar to the slip tool if you've used that on the edit page for video. So all you do is hover on top of the keyframe you want to adjust, hold down Control or Command, click and drag. And now you can see that it is just positioning it differently in the spot of the audio. If you accidentally added another keyframe or you wanna get rid of one, you can also delete that. All you gotta do is hover over a keyframe, hold down Control or Command and Option or Alt at the same time. And now you'll see this little negative icon when you go to click on it. And that will delete all the points that you placed. Alternatively, if you wanna get rid of everything together, you can just right click on your clip, go over to the Elastic Wave, come down to Clear Timing Points and then that got rid of all the keyframes that we added. Something that may happen to you is if you've gone back to a different page, like the coloring page or edit page, and you've hopped back into Fairlight and you need to adjust your points, you may notice that it's no longer there. And that's just because it took you out of that Elastic Wave view. To get back into it super easy, you just right click on the clip and like before, go to Elastic Wave, and this time just go to Elastic View, and that will pop back open all of the keyframes that you had. I really hope that you found this useful. Let me know by leaving a like on the video and check out this video popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you would like to watch next. Until next time, I'm Hayden, off with a zine.